Do you think we could climb this slope? No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall, are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? It seems to be pointing at this mound. Nothing but dirt. With that device pointing at this mound, I suspect there might be something buried here. How scientific of you, Commander. Another random hole bulldozed by our fearless leader. Maybe not. I thought I saw something shining. An artifact. It looks like a bracelet. Nothing but dirt. I think we can safely say this is not a natural weather phenomenon. How about a mirage? Anyone voting for it being a mirage? It knew we were here. It was trying to tell us something. Or show us something. Don't be too quick to anthropomorphize. How do we know what life looks like here? It might be alive. Or it might be some kind of automatic guidance system. We triggered it in that ruined ship and now it's leading us. You mean this is the last gasp of a holographic tour guide? Or the Port Authority. Maybe it's telling us we're under arrest. Come quietly or self-aiming lasers will toast us to cinders in 15 seconds. Stop it. Maybe you can think that's funny, but the last thing I need is some mischievous boy trying to give me the creeps. If I wanted to give you the creeps, I'd tell you that it was the ghost of a long-dead alien. How do you know it isn't a ghost? What? You think this is where aliens end up when they die? If it is, then this place better be hell, because it sure isn't my idea of heaven. Now you're starting to give me the creeps. It's too small and dark to see if this hole leads anywhere. Robbins. Assuming it was sentient, what do you think that thing was trying to tell us? Commander Lowe makes a concession. Since this is a momentous occasion, I'll tell you that I think the spot it was pointing at might be interesting to look at. Do you think that apparition meant anything? I'm not sure, but it seemed to focus on that spot. That's two occurrences. I'm not sure what to make of them. Don't look at me, Commander. That last one did seem to hover over that spot, though. Thanks. With my luck, this is probably the alien equivalent of poison ivy. I don't think I'll touch it. Brink. Do you have any guesses as to what these things are? First of all, Commander, I don't guess. Second of all, if I did, it wouldn't take me long to consider looking more closely at that spot where the last one hovered. I could really use your best educated guess about that apparition. Given my vast experience in alien apparitions, Commander Low, I'd say it might have been correlated to that spot. What do you make of the last ghost event? Maggie may be right. It could be sentient, but one does not judge too hastily. Thanks.
I'm gonna see if I can enlarge the hole. Maybe there's something under here. Yeah, maybe something lives down in that hole. <laughs> the utterances of experts. The ground is soft here. Loose. I think this used to be an opening, and over the years, wind has filled it up with sand and dirt. Here, let me see. Yes, that's right. You're probably right. That means the ground is treacherous. It could be hollow under there. Commander, I think it's time for an archaeologist to do the digging. I'm used to dealing with drifted soil. The shovel is yours, Brink. Just be careful. The ground's pretty unstable. My feet kept sinking. My whole training is to be careful. Not to charge in with guns blazing. Finally, a good use for my extensive training. No! It's completely... I can't... No! Ah! Break! I couldn't get to him in time. I couldn't. It happened too fast. Can we get down there? How long a drop is it? Looks like the rubble has formed a ramp. Follow me. Here he is. He's not moving. Brink. Boston. He's dead. I should have been the one digging. Then you'd be the dead one. It was my responsibility to. Brink and I are not children or trained monkeys. We're responsible adults. It could have been any of us, and there's not a thing you could have done to prevent it. But I... to lose Brink, and we've only been up here. Look, you can't keep me safe, and I can't keep you safe. So there's no particular reason for us to stay together. Our odds of getting back to Earth are better if we work separately on figuring this place out. I don't like the idea of splitting up. Why? Because we're safer together? Ask Brink about that. Because maybe I won't know what I'm seeing without you to help me understand it. If you find something interesting, the communicators still work. Till then, adios. Ciao, sayonara. Ah, Vader Zane. Maggie, it's against every rule of military action for an officer to be separated from his command. Boston, this isn't a military action. And you don't have a command. There's just you and me. And we both know exactly the same amount about this situation. Which is to say, nada, nothing, zip. If we suddenly find ourselves facing an army, then you're in command again. Until then... Adios. Ciao. Sayonara. Avir Zane. Nobody likes you when you smart off like that. Yeah. All my psychological tests as a kid said that I didn't work well with others. So this is what failure feels like. You could be irritating sometimes, but you sure didn't deserve to die. Looks like one of the control plates we found on Attila. Well, that probably wouldn't hurt, too. The plants seem to draw energy from my body and disperse it among all the plants. They must share a common root system. Shallow indentations. Door 
Cars, doors everywhere. I wonder which one is the pay toilet. The door is shut tight. Somebody spent a long time engraving these smooth grooves on the surface of this column. I wish I knew what for. Another one of these engraved sticks. What are they? Wands? Batons? Bludgeons? Maybe some kind of handheld computer game. With my luck, it's a hand grenade. Nothing happened. The lens is missing. I can see a lens way down at the bottom. 